Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now move to our sixth inductee. It is Morris McCartan. Well, congratulations. A wonderful name uh, in racing history and uh, certainly well deserved to be inducted. Mary, we just saw briefly the generosity of the man. The man was a great jockey, a great trainer, and he liked to share the spoils, didn't he? He did. He was generous in spirit and financially. In every respect. All right. And you've followed uh, the racing side of things all the way through. I mean, this, this documentary tonight, this brief documentary, yeah. it's an absolute revelation, isn't it? Oh, yes. I've always been interested. Um, my grandfather was also a Randwick trainer, so I had racing, horse racing in my blood, <laughs> I'd say. When you got the word from the Hall of Fame that he was to be inducted... Your reaction? Oh, I just... He was such an honourable and beautiful man and such a true gentleman and gentle man. You know, he... And he... Racing, he just had an empathy with animals that you just couldn't describe. He just um, related to them perfectly, I felt. The complete horseman. Well, and when we start thinking about... You guys have come all the way from overseas as well. When you start thinking about that generosity, is it true that when he had a big win, he would drive from A to B and the children in the back would hand out coins to the, to the poorer people? Is that true? Uh, I believe so. That was during the Depression. They would, if they had a big win, they'd, they'd distribute the winnings out, you know, and the kids would run along when it was really, you know, in the really hard years of the Depression, yes. And they tell me his wife was also part of the act too. Um, she liked to feed everybody, all the poor. Oh, when he had a winner, she was a great uh, cook, my mother-in-law, and she would, um, they would queue up outside the, the, for the Sunday roast. And the people would, if he'd had a winner the day before, there'd be queues of people and she'd take out a hot meal to them.